Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ever feel like you're racing against the clock but still falling behind? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into a book that shifted my perspective, 4,000 Weeks by Oliver Berkman. The book's title refers to the average lifespan in weeks, which might sound kind of depressing, but stick with me. It's actually about embracing the fact that our time here is limited and using that knowledge to live more intentionally. We're going to be talking about why traditional time management advice often backfires, the importance of accepting our limitations, and how to find peace of mind in a world that's constantly demanding more. We've all been there, right? Scrolling through endless articles with titles like 10x your productivity with these simple hacks. We download the latest time management apps, we try to cram as much as we can into every single day. But then, life happens. Unexpected things pop up, we get tired or overwhelmed, and that perfectly color-coded schedule goes right out the window. The problem with a lot of time management advice is that it pretends we live in a vacuum. 4,000 Weeks takes a different approach. It argues that instead of trying to conquer time, we should focus on working our natural rhythms and limitations. It's about figuring out what truly matters to us and making conscious choices about how we spend our precious and very finite time. This isn't about lowering your ambitions or settling for mediocrity. It's about being realistic and kind to yourself. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say, the ticking clock on the wall. We all know deep down that our time on this planet is limited, but it's not exactly something we like to think about, right? But here's the thing. Acknowledging our mortality isn't morbid. It's actually incredibly freeing. When you try to ignore the fact that your time is finite, you end up wasting it on things that don't really matter. You get caught up in the rat race, chasing someone else's definition of success. And before you know it, years have flown by. But when you truly internalize the fact that you only have so many trips around the sun, it changes everything. You start to prioritize differently. You become more discerning about how you spend your days and who you spend them with. You begin to focus on experiences and connections rather than accumulating stuff. All right, so we're getting into the good stuff now. In a world that's obsessed with instant gratification, patience might seem like a lost art. But when it comes to mastering your time, patience isn't just a virtue, it's a superpower. How often do you find yourself getting frustrated when things don't happen as quickly as you'd like? Maybe it's waiting in line at the grocery store, dealing with a slow internet connection, or working on a project that seems to be taking forever. This impatience, my friends, is a recipe for stress and unhappiness. It keeps us trapped in a cycle of wanting things to be different than they are, instead of accepting the present moment. Cultivating patience, on the other hand, allows us to appreciate the journey, even when things get tough. It allows us to savor the small moments of joy and find meaning in the everyday. And here's the kicker. Patience actually makes us more productive in the long run. When you're patient, you're less likely to rush into things or make rash decisions. All right, so we've covered a lot of ground, but I want to leave you with some practical takeaways from 4,000 weeks that you can start using today. Embrace your limitations. Remember, you're not a superhero and you don't have to do it all. Focus on what truly matters to you and be realistic about what you can accomplish in a day. Schedule time for the things you love. And I don't just mean penciling in relaxation on your to-do list. Learn to say no. This is crucial for protecting your time and energy. It's okay to set boundaries and politely decline requests that don't align with your priorities. Don't be afraid to disconnect. Schedule regular time to unplug, recharge and reconnect with yourself and the world around you. So, as we wrap things up, I want to leave you with this. Time isn't something to be conquered or managed, it's something to be savoured. It's the fabric of our lives, the canvas upon which we paint our stories. The book 4000 Weeks isn't about cramming more into your schedule. It's about helping you create a life that feels spacious and fulfilling within the natural constraints of time. It's about embracing the beauty of impermanence and finding joy in the journey. Remember, life isn't a race to get to the finish line. It's about making the most of each and every step along the way. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What are your biggest takeaways from today's video? Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on how to live a more mindful and meaningful life.